Hey YouTube, I've gotten a lot of questions about uh, people who is following my Gist app for beginners for Bricks about whether you could use WP Codebox rather rather than Code Sandbox to write the Gist app script. And this video is addressing those people who own the WP Codebox license. Okay. And uh, let me quickly walk you through how to uh, connect it to your bricks uh, to write the GSAP script. Okay, so under the news snippet, we're going to connect um, the GSAP library. And then let's give it a name. And for the type, it's an external JavaScript file. And as you can see right here, we want to load from a CDN. So when you click on that link, you type in GSAP. It's going to search, enter, and it finds that uh, external URL for GSAP library. So that's perfect, and that's great. And script location, let's put it on footer. In my case, I don't want to put it everywhere. I just want to put it on one page. So custom open condition builder, add condition. Location is uh, current post. Select this page is the page that I want to affect only. Save and close. Let's save that file, uh, enable it, and then installation for GSAP is complete. Step two, new snippet. Uh, this will be GSAP. This will be the actual uh, JavaScript file to write your GSAP script, okay? So GSAP basics, unique, give it a name, whatever you like, 03. Okay, type, it's gonna be JavaScript. And this will be an external file. Let's minimize it for better performance in the loading browser. And a script location, footer. And again, not everywhere, but I want to put it on a one page custom. Open condition builder, add condition, current post. And again, episode three. Same page uh, that I want to affect. So save and close. Let's save it, enable it. And let's put a, a test code in there to make sure it's connected. Let's put alert. Um, hi. Let's save it. Okay, it's enabled. Let's go to the front end. Great. We got the high alert. That means it's connected. So all you have to do is just write your GSAP codes right in here. And let me replace that with the uh, the proper codes. Uh, let's save it, and if you go to the front end, your animation GSAP code should be working like so. Yeah, so I hope you uh, like that video. So feel free to use WP uh, Codebox um, to script your GSAP, and this is how you would do it. And I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you, and have a good day. Bye.